Nice day, eh? Which one's yours? Those two, over there. Uh, I only see one. Wait, what? Hey! Hey! Don't you do it! Don't you dare do it! I'll do it. Please. Please. I'm yeah, he did. Begging you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely demanded anyway, so I can't even ask. Nathan and Bryson have had their turn, so now I get to talk about my furry little rugrats that I love so dearly. Okay, let me take about a head for a second. And as of right now, the dogs is being demanded, so I definitely would never let them do anything that's bad. Very bad. Anyway, Son of Beast here, as the next reaction video, as I already did the the last uh, Brody Animates one, as I was really talking about what was going to happen, with all of this weird thing in a strange way is for the last video. And definitely looking all over it right now is some strange stories, as I... Definitely have heard about it, featuring with the odd ones out. But now, this is calling the demanded dogs. Especially you don't really know how dogs treat that way. I mean, I when I usually can get a dog, I mean, I would just tell them the right directions. However, my parents would say that too much dogs could definitely be a little bit of messy change anyway. So, we wouldn't buy, like, all the plywoods and definitely build a, a dog house. And we wouldn't have anything to sleep with with all the, the dog pillows. I mean, this is nothing but I really wanted to talk. So I can't really imagine what was going to happen now. So I have to say one word to you, Brody. Which dog do you think is the meanest? Is there an our way? All right, then I guess I will have to keep watching. Anyway, go on. Plus, this video will be like a million times better than theirs. So, let me start off with introducing Shelby. Shelby, oh, that's a good name, actually. Like, uh, instead of a Mustang Shelby at that point. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. We got Shelby way back in 2018. The lady putting the litter up for adoption brought over two puppies, one of which was super calm and docile, and the other was... curious. Oh, the R1? I mean, <laughs> that cringe eyes. I mean, they're so cute, but the R1 feel like... Wait, what's wrong with that? I don't know what's going on with those dogs. I mean, can't ask. Guess which one we went for. <laughs> We'd had other family dogs in the past, but this was the first time me and my siblings were tasked with raising a puppy. And let me tell you, it was not easy. Why is it? Why is it not easy you got to say that? When you get a puppy, everything else in your life just takes a backseat. You thought you were gonna hang out with your friends tonight? Well, your dog just ate an entire box of Timbits, and now you get to lay awake hoping they don't throw up again, wondering if you can even afford the potential <laughs> vet My Ew, it's always gross when your dog throws up on that other house, and you feel like, oh my god, I mean, I smell like somebody, that somebody throw up in the floor, and I feel like, oh geez, uh, I, I'm gonna need some a little clean to do. I mean, that's a lot of business you gotta take. I mean, come on, man. I mean, I don't like dogs when they throw up. I mean, this is what nobody likes at all. And also with that smell of that fart going on anywhere. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I'm i sorry, but this is not what I really care of. You know, I would only be me. But if I have pets like it's uh, fishes, I could definitely feed them for every day. Unless if there is a choice possibility. Siblings and I took what we called Shelby shifts because she was too anxious and energetic to be left alone for the whole night, which meant at least one of us had to stay up with her for hours, dangling a sock for her to play with. It was mm. tough times. Tough times, yeah, however. I mean, can't really say what it is. Eventually, she started getting more independent, and as she got older, we got a sense of her goofy little personality. Shelby's mm. half golden retriever and half Australian shepherd, and the retriever half made it so wagging her tail simply isn't enough. She has to wiggle her whole butt. There is literally nothing <laughs> better to come home to than that. <laughs> I guess there's no other way to go with wagging that tail. I mean, you gotta go with some little little dance back around or whatever. I mean, all that butt look. I mean, <laughs> I don't have any uh, personality with that. One weird thing we found out about her is that she just glitches out sometimes. Mo what? What? Why? Most treats you give to her and she gets all cute and excited like you'd expect. But one day we gave her a bagel shaped treat. She paused, stared at it and then leapt and wormed all over the place and pawed at it aggressively. She oh, so is that what, uh, that's what other dogs do? Instead of, like, picking it up, 
But all you just do is like attack, attack, attack. Is that what it is? You just couldn't comprehend its perfect roundness. What is this sorcery? This this witchcraft that enabled this unholy concoction? Reveal your answers at once, human! <laughs> she did also happen to be <laughs> I mean, I, I can't uh deny that. Give me the biggest scare of my life. One day after coming home from school, I decided to get Oh, there's the there's the arrow one. That's uh, odd ones out over there. So can you guys see that? That's the one where he worked at. I mean, if you want to go check that one out, I mean, you could definitely uh, head to his channel. I have the calling card up there. It's some subway. I sat down at my desk, unwrapped my pizza sub, the only good sub, and realized something was off. The sandwich looked mediocre as usual, but no big watery eyes had materialized immediately after opening the wrapper. Is that what happened? I don't, I don't understand it. Like a bill of bacon from Wendy's to pick it up. Shelby? Shelby, Shelby. Uh oh. Uh, oh no. Oh no. I ran around. Yeah, I was gonna say that, Brody. How dare you? In my neighborhood as fast as I could, but there was no sign of her. I told every neighbor I came across to keep their eyes out for a black and brown, medium-sized dog. Eventually, my sister came over and we drove around frantically. Finally, after countless minutes, we saw a couple walking with Shelby on a leash. Apparently, Shelby had ran around aimlessly, nearly tackled a random old woman with hugs and kisses, until this couple found her and leashed her, trying to find her owner. And when Shelby hopped into our car, there was nothing but complete contentment on her face. Oh, jeez, man. I mean, I can't really say what it is now. I mean, that's just like how bad it is now. I mean, you can't get rid of it. As, as you can when you're looking for a dog that lost i mean you gotta save him don't let him go off somewhere despite nearly dying of a heart attack it was an awesome day for shelby however no raising of a hey hey shelby what do you have what do you have <laughs> what an ad oh no i don't want ad anyway so i'm definitely gonna have to skip it but i want to hear what it is where did you even <laughs> okay okay i'll do it Okay, don't get me into Brody like that. Man. This video is brought to you by Opera. Opera is a web browser that's better than the one you have. Well, I don't have to worry about that, so let it go. Unless you have it already. Nah, not me. And then keep me popping and checking, guy. Gotta represent, Lord, I gotta represent. Instead of dropping to the level, I keep copping all the checks. Stay on top of all the rest. They ain't hot like you. I can sweat it with these haters cause they know that I'm the best I ain't stopping for a step Well, I have a McAfee anyway, so I will have to like Try to like keep an eye on it If Oprah has the one that can try to like keep going it over for McAfee I mean, I think it's a little bit of a tight competition anyway So I'm not gonna let that happen Unless something changes Okay, I'll get back to you, drama queen Alright, let's go back to this video now However, no raising of a puppy is complete without a wonderfully disgusting story. After playing in the backyard all excitedly with her million toys, my brother went outside to let Shelby in, only to find this. Wait, is that a turd? Hey, Shelby, no! No, 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 no! Oh, oh that's a turd. Yeah, I, I was definitely noticing. I think somebody had turds everywhere. I mean, ew, gross. Don't even do that. Aw, did you miss your mom? You little sweetheart. Aw, you're so... Wait a second. Did you just absolutely just, uh... Did you absolutely put the voice on onto the mo mother? Did you? Cute. Uh, mom? <laughs> Shelby! <laughs> I mean, sorry, can't let it happen anymore. He had taken to her curiosity and tasted some of her Hershey's kisses. Why? Something many puppies do. We learned the hard way. Now, it's time to discuss the newest bottle of joy added to my life. One day, my girlfriend, whose name is Izzy, called me up and said, Look at how cute these guys are. I'm gonna get a puppy. Uh, I don't want a puppy. Puppies are the worst. I got a puppy. <sighs> oh, brother. I mean, what are you going to do with that? I did not want anything to do with this little rat. All I knew about puppies was how much of a pain they were. I had PTSD from the long night staying awake with a yapping Shelby, cleaning up messes multiple times a day, and getting snakes thoughtfully delivered to my front door. Yeah, I know. I know it was going to happen like that. I mean, a lot of stuff to do. I mean, this is like... Totally a nightmare. I mean, you have to just do the jobs anyway. If, if I have a dog and then if somebody goes up and then, then really? You're going to clean this one up anyway right now? And I felt like, okay, I'll do it. I mean, 
This is definitely like very a uh, tough job to do it anyway. I mean, I I just don't want dogs anymore. I'm done. Especially if I only want fishes. That's okay. Cats, I mean, yeah. Uh, whatever. How could she do this? That thing is going to wreak havoc, and I don't even know if this relationship can handle that. Yeah, really? You taught that one voice over and trying to control the brain after it? She's going to be so wrong about this, and she's going to hate him, and she's going to hate me, and she's... She, she, she's... <laughs> you think I'll fall for that? Do you perceive me to be a fool? Oh, yeah, do you want to be a fool? What are you going to do about it? I... <sighs> All right, fine. So we ended up giving him away. Oh, so that's it? It's all over? No! Just, just kidding. Oh, you got me! Don't do this. Despite all my objections and warnings and whining, this little idiot was the best puppy I'd ever seen. Barking? Silent. Separation anxiety? Healthy coping habits. Party training? He even puts the seat down. My girlfriend was lucky. This time, she eventually named him Prince, as her previous dogs had all been named after musicians and rock stars. I mean, if if she was if she's gonna break a pet of the of the snakes, I would feel like, oh my god, no. I would never do that anyway. I mean, that would be like very, like a species. I mean, that is like an unwanted pet. So I felt like they're like pests, like predators or anything like that. I mean, jeez, I can't let that happen. Wait, this guy dog is named Prince. Wait, like, um, like, you know, um, oh, well, I, I thought it was Ze Ze Zeppelin. Ozzy's bone. Nah, I mean, I, Oz, Ozzy Osbourne, eh? Huh? I guess I noticed that, that, that thing I was even calling for. Does she love uh, rock and roll or heavy metal or whatever? I don't know if she likes it, but I can't ask. While he does live up to his name and attitude, I do feel like one of those super annoying people that name their dogs Princess or Angel sometimes. Or Queen. This is Sugar Plum. Isn't she the sweetest thing? Ew, jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 you gotta put that dog down right now. You gotta train into a school anyway. Oh, jeez. Oh my, that, that is a little evil anyway. <laughs> Lil Goober warmed his way right into my cold heart. He grew up around Shelby and pretty much turned into a mini version of her. While this did mean that he got her wiggles, her sneak attack kisses, and her deceased belly rub face, it also meant he got her attitude and hatred towards the neighbor dog. Hey. Hey! You suck. You're ugly. Uh, me? Yeah. You wanna go? Yeah, he's ugly. Huh? You wanna go? I, I don't <laughs> even know. I could take you any day. She could take <laughs> you any day. Okay, you guys are being unreasonable. I swear on my you life, I'm gonna scramble like an egg freak. before I'm you gonna tear you apart. A few. <laughs> They're all arguing each other. Damn, calm down. Months after getting Prince, his fur had grown out to the point where it was covering his eyes, and it was time for a haircut. My lovely girlfriend, whom I love so so much, decided to take it on herself. Oh, so she's gonna do it? Okay, uh, don't let her make a mess. The pair of scissors, she went to work, and in the kindest of words, fur had been cut. His leg fur was comically shorter than the rest of his body, and he genuinely looked like a rat. Oh, yeah, oh my god. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, that was like a terrible thing to do that. I mean, all it all over, like a rat or a mouse, I, uh... I wouldn't cut the dog with the with the care at that point. I mean, she's like doing it all over again. Start from the grown fur hair. I mean, what what do you have to do with that? You gotta like try to figure something else out. I mean, this is like no, uh uh, not the best way to do that. I personally didn't care. It's like a kid with a bowl cut. They don't care what they look like. They're just living life. Plus, he made me smile ear to ear every time he entered a room. Izzy was not as amused as I was. But yeah, we're we're gonna go to a professional from now on. I did let her cut my hair though. One complete. Really? You cut your hair at that point? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on. That? Dude! What is all with that? What is that? You've got to be kidding me with this. God. 
One completely unrelated thing we didn't get fully trained out of Shelby was her digging. She usually didn't do it, but if she was left alone and bored enough, a hole would start to appear in the backyard. So, when one started to get bigger and bigger in our new place, me and my siblings were quick to blame Shelby, even though we had never actually seen her do it. The hole kept getting bigger, and we kept getting more irritated. And oh boy, well, that, bo that hole is like getting irritated right now? I mean, somebody could get hurt. I mean, we don't want holes. We don't want our yard to be like it's a full pit. Like it's a like it's a hole like all over it again with some hiding spot. So one day when talking with the neighbor, they told my brother, "Hey, you know you're getting mad at the wrong one, right? It's the little guy that's digging the holes." Look. Well, looks like that somebody must have done that. It's a little bit up to the point. Looks like he learned a few more things from Shelby than we thought. Despite being a great puppy overall, there have been some hiccups along the road, including what is now known as. The poops it did. Izzy and I had left home, leaving Shelby with my mom, and were staying at my aunt and uncle's house while we were trying to find a place in our new city. In Calgary? It had been a long and hard few weeks, and both me, Izzy, and Prince were absolutely exhausted. Oh man, I mean, I, I know what's gonna happen now. I mean, I, I don't believe it. I couldn't tell. Prince had clearly been stressed out about being in a new environment and was having a bit of trouble adjusting. It all led up to one fateful event. Me and Izzy woke up in the morning to a concerning silence paired with a smell. We looked into Prince's kennel and found hell. There was a This is just too, this is just too gross. Get rid of this now. Huge pile of poop combined with bite marks and vomit. Ew, that is totally gross. Oh my goodness. I mean, yep, I'm out of here. I I'm bringing a dog back to uh, the pet store. I mean, I don't want it. I want somebody else to take it. If they just said no, I mean, I don't want this dog to be that completely that bad. I would feel like this vomit is gross inside the house. I mean, I just don't like anything that's turd, smell everywhere, and also with the vomit. I mean, I just hated it. I just don't want that to happen again. So uh, yeah, I'm at. Sorry, Brody. Looks like he learned a few more things from Shelby than we thought. I sprinted outside with him in my arms and watched as he defiled the back lawn too. We took him to the bathroom to bathe him and he did it again. It was- Oh my gosh, he's like erupting everything. And just like I had to describe it. Yep, uh, that's definitely like shooting things out like it's a volcano. Yeah. And definitely everywhere, you just saw that nasty smell coming out from the anus. The never-ending volcano of torment. The smell and sight of which will never be forgotten. It wasn't his fault at all, he was just a puppy thrown into a strange environment with a bad stomach, but man, what a way to wake up. Oh yeah, that is definitely totally completely bad. I mean, I just don't want that to be like it's a complete, completely, you know, a disgusting, vomited stuff around the house. Don't want that. Shout out to my aunt and uncle for letting us obliterate their home. Oh, that's cool. We're never allowed back. Despite all the trials and tribulations, it's all part of owning a dog and the reward is absolutely worth it. The unconditional love and affection from a dog is unmatched and I am beyond happy to have these pups in my life. And I would definitely recommend that it- <laughs> no, get, get him outside! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, oh, oh my god, oh no. Oh my god, oh no. Oh, there goes the vomit everywhere. Now, now this is what I expected to say is, I'm out of here, nope. Again? It is literally everywhere. How, how did you even do that, Prince? Oh my god, is that my sock? Did you <laughs> eat my entire sock? No, no, do not give me those eyes. That is unfair. Oh, no. That is condescending, honestly. That's not gonna work. Uh, Alright, all right, fine, fine. Oh yeah, what do I expect it? And this one? Wait. What's the dog gonna do now? Oh, so that's where you have a dog, huh? Oh. <laughs> I always know at that point, I mean, when he moves around. I mean, that's the point. <laughs> well, 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 I mean, lucky to. I mean, I expect it right now. So anyway, that is definitely it right now. I mean, showing you a little bit of a video at the end, I mean, yeah. Kinda of cute. I mean, who's gonna note that? Anyway, that's definitely it for the uh, demented dogs, or like a demon dogs. What is it called again? Demented dogs. Okay. All right. All right. So I guess that was okay. But <laughs> I always know that is pretty excellent when you did here, Brody. So I'm giving that one a nine out of ten stars. So you got it all coming down. I mean, all <laughs> that vomit and grossness. Stuff. I mean, thanks for censoring the blur thing out of here. I mean, I know that's not. 
really cool at all. But hey, you just gotta enjoy the funny stories when you can, alright? Don't you know what I mean? Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this part of my reaction video. And yes, definitely I'm not getting dogs anyway. If you really like the Haminations one of the criminal dogs, go check out the other video. I'll be up there in just a few moments. But I really wanted to say, most of you all, people who have been agreeing to this point, really wanted to think about me, who likes to be in the part of the thousand subscriber list. But as of right now, I'm on a mission right now because I have 300 subscribers to go because there is a long way to get to the end of a line. But as of right at this moment, we're getting closer right now, just two more years to get to our 10th annual of the year. But as I mentioned right now, this is what I was always expecting to believe on instead of Chris Sonic Guy. So most of you people are going to say is like, you're not going to buy, buy a dog? I mean, no, I'm not getting a dog. What my parents would say this, they're going to say, son, you're never going to have a dog like that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate with that. But if you guys have dogs, please be careful with your your dogs and your and your siblings from you too, just in case if you have a lot of jobs in between. And definitely, you got to move around with your pet. I mean, your pet is always your favorite. Can't leave it alone right now. But as that moment right now goes by, I have one more dog for you. This one will be Insane Dog by Infamous Swoosh. And then we can get to the next reaction video, as I'll be able to do 3 EE -E and Tiny Taco Tales on the other side. So yes, that's going to be on its way there very soon, so got to keep an eye on it. And of course, the suggestion video, Best Investors, already got me pushed back, but I guess I will be able to do that one here as soon as I can. So thanks to uh, Cernax Fan 2000 for making this video, I'll be able to do that one here too. Anyway, if you like this video, please don't forget to check out my social media post on X of Twitter. And definitely of course right now all of our social medias are offline so tiktok i just don't post anything i mean what's wrong with me i only do the youtube shorts anyway but that's okay with me i mean i'm fine with that but in the meantime thank you all so much for watching and as a being honor right now you guys rock peace out for a while as the demented dogs of birdie animate style of son of beast and speaking of which this is son of beast and i see you all again for the next video Insane Dog is underway until we meet again. Bye now. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.